I started talking. As soon as I pick up my sticks, the groove just floods through me. My family is like all about Irish music. Monday music, Tuesday music, Wednesday music, Sunday music, and it's just all just music. Hi B, hi B, everybody. You, you were playing them too slow. Yeah. My mom, she always played the tin whistle, and so I learned from her. I was only about like four, I would say, or five, and I would always say, Mom, can you teach me too? So I'm sitting there trying to learn her notes. My sisters, they always teach me music. Erin playing her fiddle, and my sister Blaheen, she has this really, really fun accordion. I love playing with my band because my band tunes are like heaven. And you just sit there for hours and hours just playing music and you love it. Kelly Band, Kelly Band, chop chop. It's called the Kelly Band. A whole bunch of people that are like around the same age that just play different instruments and have a good time, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's rearrange it. When I'm playing Irish music, it makes me think of my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my grandfather, and I'm like, God, I wish I was in Ireland right now. Music is my life. Keep up the good work. Woke up this morning, look around for my shoe. Turn out I got these for walking blues. Woke up this morning, look around for my shoes. Turns out I got these.
It's time for Jazz on the Beach, the place for jazz and more in Central Florida. And uh, we'll be back with music quicker than you can say. It's Jazz on the Beach. Here we go. Hey. Hey, oh wow, there you are. I'm so glad you could make it. We're looking forward to hearing you on the piano. Tony, what's jazz to you? Jazz to me, it's a language between instruments. Like, you answer each other, like if the bass is going, and then the piano would probably go. So it's talking between each other. I feel things when I play a song. I feel happy. Sad. That sounds like someone died. To me, jazz is like vital. If you need medicine to live, jazz is my medicine. Did you enjoy it? Goodness, so fast, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why do we have to change bow? Because your right hand becomes longer too. Not only the left. Imagine your left hand becomes longer, 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 and your right hand is all the time the same. I call myself a fiddle player, like a contest-style fiddle player. I'm a soldier joy. I was kind of born into it. My grandfather, he used to play guitar and fiddle. He had a stroke like three weeks ago. I'm sure he really wishes he could play fiddle again. I think it made him extra proud when he knew that I was going to go play in the National Fiddle Contest and Festival. I'm going to play at a lot of contests this year, but the biggest one is in Weezer, Idaho.
If you win it, your title would be the National Fiddle Champion. Hello. Hi. I'm Maddie Denton. I'm entering the Junior Junior. Junior Junior? Let's see. You guys are from Tennessee. That's a long ways. <laughs> I played here last year, and I didn't make the cut past round one. This is awesome. We'll do better in that this year. You're official. The cafeteria is where everybody plays before they go out on the stage. It's very crazy. Betty Dinton, contestant number 51. When that door opened and I saw the black come through, there was like a butterfly in my stomach. It was just, I was thinking, here we go. Our next contestant comes from Freesboro, Tennessee. Let's welcome Betty Dinton. Rebecca Sutton Wright, she won fourth last year. I knew that Rebecca was going to make the second cut. She's very good, so I knew I had some competition. It's going to be posted. Congratulations. When I made it past that first round, I knew that I'd done the hard part. Love you. Love you too. You played really well. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, you too. understand me? Okay, well, I'm in the top five in the, in Weezer. Mm-hmm, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna win something. Good job. Five, ten, whatever. Coming up the aisle right now, let's give a big hand to Rebecca Enright from Watauga, Texas. <laughs> Rebecca went first in round three, and I went second. It was probably a good thing that I didn't see her play. Our next contestant, age 11, let's welcome Maddie Denton from the Freestyle, Tennessee. Junior Juniors. 
We cut that to 12, and now we have five. Uh, the judges ready to go? Here they are, your five, top five, junior, junior, fifth place, and a check for $40, Mady Denton. Mady Denton. Mady Denton was fifth place. Um, it's nerve wracking when they can't get your name right. Second place and a check for $100, Rebecca Enright. <laughs> and your first place, 2005 Junior Junior James Schlender. There they are, folks, your top five 2005 Junior Juniors. Let's give them a big hand. last year. I think it was pretty hard for my mom to see me work so hard and not do what I had wanted to. But this year, when, when I did make the finals, um, she, she was just so happy for me. I wish I had gotten first place, but I would go back within that fast. Maybe get first. guitar. Mexican music in my heart and in my singing. My godmother helps me learn the songs. I call her Madrina. When I was one or two, my godmother bought me a violin and I didn't like it, so they bought me a guitar and then I liked it. Mexico. Lindo and querido, si muero lejos de ti, que digan que estoy dormido y que me traigan aquí, que digan que es que. They took him to the restaurant one time. It was the mariachi in there. They took me to the restaurant one day, and then I played there. I, I was still with the diaper, and I couldn't speak. And everybody was surprised how how he knows that song. And he said, Madrina, teach me how to song that song.
through this whole band. And that when, when I play, everybody in the st stands, the crowd, people are eating and watching, are like so amazed. Mozart has a melody that goes. You know, it's it, we all use the same building blocks uh, to make our melodies. Mysterious Nights is a piece that I wrote for ukulele and cello. Ukulele and cello? I mean, come on, who's heard of that combination before? The ukulele has like a hula dance part, and it's just the accompanying chords for a moving, flowing cello part. The cello on this computer is uh, pretty pathetic. <laughs> That's just to give you an idea. it today for the first time ever and we'll see what happens. Uh, let me stop you there for a second. Um, when you get to the, the G major right here, mm -hmm. can you play this just a little bit softer okay. so you can hear me better? Okay. So really, um, really do we repeat here? Yeah, you repeat there. Um, to really let it sing over here. I want my music to make people feel like they've been on a journey. Like they went somewhere. You can think of it as giving a gift to the world. Something new. Other than learning piano, I also started learning the harp record last November. I first got cancer when I was just two years old. When I was 10 years old, I got cancer again. It's horrible to go through it once, think about it going through it again. I was seven years old when I found out that I had cancer. I was really scared because I thought she was going to die. And... It's hard to play piano when you are feeling sick and tired, but I do it anyway. The first thing I felt was scared. What if I can't make it through this? My mother reminded me what I said when I was a little girl, that I fight, I fight. Then in the middle of those teclas negras, OK? Take a deep breath. Respira. OK. It's nice if you can find something good 
I like playing the piano because then you can feel like you can be strong enough to deal with the cancer. You don't have to feel scared or even worried. You just have to feel calm and positive that you're going to be able to make it through. Beautiful. That was my favorite. I knew it. Good. You did get prettier, didn't you? Yeah, I'm with my hair long. Yeah, you had such short hair last year. Yeah. I've been healthy about a year already. Beautiful. This is fun, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Touch your head back. Ooh. I will have to come back once a year to make sure that the cancer doesn't come back. Bigger smile on it. Oh, there it is. Playing the piano with my sister makes me forget the pain and feeling sick. The cancer breaks your spirit into pieces. It's like your heart breaking. It's like a puzzle piece that it can never be fixed. But with music, it was a way to show me that the piece that I was missing, I found it. I think a good cellist has to feel the music and feel like the true meaning. Oh, here's the swan, something's happening. It's about a swan traveling through the water. It's really graceful. Closely. Oh no, I think something's really happening now. Oh no, it's okay. I think Sansan was trying to put a whole bunch of feelings together, sad and happy at the same time. In some parts, the swan is doing something not so sad, like gliding through the water. And then all of a sudden, it's starting to cry. struggles to get on the shore. Oh no, he's starting to really die now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those false alarms and then it starts to hit you. Lots of people say that I express the music really well, and everybody thinks that's the best part of me. 
I just play guitar all the time. I even get up extra early just so I can touch my guitar. Got my mojo working. are all posted in this room. Hank Williams, Chuck Berry, Johnny Cash, The Beatles. I love you so bad. I just don't know what to do. Well, if I were glass and music was filled inside of me, music would be overflowing. I play jazz. Jazz is not a little kid's music at all. Also, I play Latin jazz music. I just feel that Latin music is in my body. My mom grew up in an absolutely Puerto Rican community, and I've known Spanish all my life, and I feel like it's part of me. Now check that out. It's totally fantastic. My parents do not play music. <laughs> My dad likes to say, we don't make music, we make musicians. rehearsals after school. And I have to practice so that I can play performances. I spend a lot of time a week playing music. My parents really want me to be a kid and not just play music all the time. But I would say I'm very serious about music.
My name is Scotty Nadei, and my engine is called an accordion. When I first met Garland, I seen him just running around like any little seven-year-old until he strapped on the accordion. And once he strapped the accordion on, he just like transformed into this serious musician. Garland got started at the age of two. His dad bought him a little toy accordion and he would play with it, get upset because he couldn't get it to do what he wanted it to do, and he would throw it, and I think we went through about seven or more. And then one day, something came out of it. From that day on, Gallon's been on it. A seven-year-old playing that, is it an accordia? Accordia. That's really awesome. You know how uh, the accordion is so heavy and stuff? Well, he's got those big old arms like that big just to hold him up. It's cool that he can play that because he's so little. He looks like he has fun. And he plays tight. How do you always get up there, no nervousness and stuff? How you do that? When, when I f first started playing, I was kind of shy, but the second day when I went, wasn't. I was already. <laughs> the only time you can keep him in check is when he has that accordion in his neck. Take the accordion out of his neck is just like taking a leash off a pup and phew. He's gone, man. Come here, God. Where is he? Where is he? I mean, he's in the something. Sure. <laughs> oh, Garland, that's a beautiful shot. Can I, like, put my hand in the water and catch one? Friday night, isn't it? Garland, are you excited? Yes, sir. Oh, that ought to be really great. I'm gonna go. Which is his first song gonna be, Garland? Little Boy. Little Boy? That must be your favorite. Are you gonna sign this for me? Ooh, my first signed poster. What you got going on this weekend? Play at Slim Waikiki. Slim Waikiki? You know, that place has been there since the early 40s. I know your grandpa fit in there, your uncles. Keeping that tradition going, G. That's a good thing, man. Keep it going. Garland's great-grandfather was Delton Broussard, who was a famous musician. He played throughout the world. Was he a card player? That's where you learned to play? Mm-hmm. Yes. One time when I was sleeping, he came up in my dreams. He had brought me outside and gave me his accordion, and I just started playing. Garland never met his great papa, but he would come up with these little songs, uh, like uh, my papa showed me how to play the notes. In his little mind, it's like my dad is really there with him. You know, that's a little bit of ooh stuff happening here, you know? It's, 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 it's good voodoo. <laughs> He's carrying the legacy of my dad. I feel very proud to have that part of my dad live on. I really do. He wants everybody on their toes. You know, he might slide all over the stage, he might dance, or he might start where the whole band's got to follow him. Then I can say, God, please let me know when he's getting away from this. I'll know what to do.
two, three, four. My favorite style of music is pop, and my favorite sounds are the minor chords, because they sound mysterious. I like E minor and A minor. Music can really influence people, and that's what I'm trying to do. You know, change the world with my music. Please don't melt our glaciers. Please don't kill us all. Please don't destroy our atmosphere. The sun will kill us all. Global warming, it's not just a prediction anymore. It's not just a prediction anymore it's true help bush is such an idiot i know he won't sign the kyoto treaty why doesn't he care why won't he help global warming it's not just a prediction anymore it's not just a prediction anymore it's true help icebergs are falling into the ocean the ozone layer is thinning make good choices don't use so many resources every single day don't drive your cars much find alternatives don't be careless Recycle, don't use so much electricity, don't use styrofoam, be friendly to the earth, it will be friendly back. Global warming, it's not just a prediction anymore, it's not just a prediction anymore, it's real. My name is Tyler, I am 10 and I play the trumpet. Ready guys? Ready to play play play. Well, it started with me playing the trumpet with my mom and dad. Then, my brother joined in with us. And then, my sister started learning the tuba and now we have a band. <laughs> We are the Lindsay Brass Band. Okay, collar has to be out. There we go. When all of us are practicing it, for one thing, it's pretty noisy. All of our neighbors hear it. Pretty much I like playing with my family, but most of all, I love playing jazz. <laughs> I like jazz because they get to improvise. It's sort of more like building, creating. Thank you.
would just keep playing. And that's when his foot started going. His right foot it bouncing never back stopped. and forth. I'm like, did you teach him that foot thing? Yeah. He can't stop it. It just goes. He tries and it just goes. Sometimes I just don't want to stop playing. If they would let me, I would play all night. Fine music everywhere, which is a good thing. My favorite drum is the djembe. It's from West Africa, and I represent Africa if this is around. The thing I like least about this drum, it's so heavy, you won't believe it. Which one you want to carry? My North. drum. All right. Can you make it all the way up there, Rocky? I was walking up these three flights of stairs with my brother and my father to get to the top. Oh my gosh. It's all in your mind. Uh, mind over matter. I got ah! uh, You the man. OK. Let's warm up a little. Two, three, and. The thing is that once you start playing, you can put all your feelings into it. And my father said, like, just let it flow. Don't let anything distract you. Just let it flow. <laughs> I can make music with anything, actually. Music's everywhere. You gotta find the music and the beat inside yourself. It could just come out of you without you knowing that it was all in you all that time.
your free feeling expression just brings out your talent. Find that tingly thing inside your stomach. Everything just clicks. You're, you're in the groove. You just can't stop. Once you think about the whole thing, you realize that the song is over and you did great! I guess that's it. Cut! I got the music in me. I sure got the music in me. I got the music in me, yeah, yeah. Whoa. I got the music in me. I truly got the music in me. I got the music in me. Shop I got the Bye. 